Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yo, what's good, you guys? It's Boomer, and you're watching Bali Star today. We're just getting into why hip hop is unalived right now. You feel me? Um, I mean, if you ain't know, well, now you're about to know. Uh, I just like, and again, I don't know if it's true, true. But um, I heard from some source of media, maybe it was a magazine or some online magazine, whatever, or it's like, I don't know. But basically, they're saying that like uh, Latin music and African music are the main focuses of the music industry right now. Like hip hop is getting pushed to the side now. I mean. Honestly, in my opinion, I feel like they do this with every genre. I remember, like, when I was a kid, like, you know, pop was the thing. You know what I'm saying? I was playing on the radio a lot. You feel me? <coughs> and then um, rock started getting into the... I think it started with rock, and then it went to a pop. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, with with with, uh, with each passing, um, you know, uh genre genre taste you know what i'm saying of like you know that was really popping off you know what i'm saying like another one just had to go down then i'm so i'm confused on whether it's pop before rock or rock before pop but after pop no i think it was pop after pop man it went hip-hop so pop like got unalive towards the point you know these pop artists got got to you know what i'm saying got to collab with hip-hop artists you know what i'm saying or considered to be hip-hop like you know in that category uh, in that category and it's like pff, that's crazy and, and and now the shift is making it to like world music you know what i'm saying like you know, latin uh, africa you know um anime japanese music I, i've been on that for a minute that's just me but now it's started getting pushed to the forefront i'm seeing now i'm like we're focused on the world music now. Like, like it really expanded, you know? And honestly, I think it's dope. I think it's really dope, you know what I'm saying? Of course, Bad Bunny playing everywhere. Now, like, Burna Boy <laughs> being the African Bad Bunny is like, yo, son, like, no freaking, what, what are their names? The Korean group. Damn, it's on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> Because that's how well known they are. It's like, you know, freaking, like, you know, at the time of this recording that you're watching this, like, one of the dudes from that group, that Korean group, what is their fucking name? Dude, they're like the most famous group, like, B2, B something. Shit. <laughs> but, like, a dude from that group, like, you know, got a song with Lotto, and that went number one on billboards. You know what I'm saying? Like, he Korean, you feel me? And, I mean, of course, I'm pretty sure he had a, you know, that you know, you know, the song he speaks all English, but you know, their uh their boy band group, you know, usually does Korean and stuff. Um and English too. Uh but yeah, bro, we're focusing on world music now. I think it's really dope. You see where I'm from, you know what I'm saying? Uh <laughs> but it's like my music that like, it's crazy because they make the shit right when I'm Starting to think about it, like, hey, you know, because I got a couple songs here and there, you know what I'm saying? Of course, not just dance hall, but I, a little bit African, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I might got a little bit, like, you no, know, some, 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 some Latin flavor in there, too. But, um, yeah, right when we were starting to make this shift, I'm like, but thing is, like, me, I still like hip hop, so it's like, you know, Blending it in a way is gonna be fun for me. You feel me? So uh, I don't know, man. Look out for any future projects. I hope you guys will have fun listening to it as much as I will have fun making them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I got some in the I got some in the arsenal already. Waiting for those for for those to drop. You know, so actually, yeah. At the end of this video, you can hear you know that song if you haven't heard it already. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> but yeah, let's get straight on to the video, man. Make sure you leave a like to support the video if you enjoy. Subscribe if you're new so that we can turn up with the all-star gang up in this thing. Let's get straight on into it, man. Let's go. What's up, man? It's your boy, Bali Star. Today, we're going to be talking about 
what's popping off? Has anyone <coughs> else felt within the past, I would say, four months, if not up to eight, nine months, it feels like hip hop has kind of been dead. And I think we're at a. B2. I think Korean, uh, uh, the Korean group's name is B2. It's B2. People really aren't caring as much as they used to. I sent out a couple of tweets where I said the following. It feels like nobody cares about music like they did in 2018. And when I say music, I'm pretty much exclusively referring to hip hop. Even if an album is amazing, sells well, everything. It has Beat to fucking ass, bro. Oh feels my like the level god. Of surrounding hip hop has deflated. And then I followed it up by saying Trippy Red posted a huge <laughs> announcement of him apologizing to his girlfriend for cheating in the lead up to his album dropping. He drops the album, and I haven't seen a single person talk about it on the timeline. And then someone replied and said, but what was the last album that was amazing and sold well? And I said, Utopia was an amazing follow-up to Astroworld. Great rollout, great music, great performance and concept behind it, bringing Yeah, out, rollout. everything was Again. picture perfect. But how many people are still talking about Utopia right now? And that wasn't even, what, two weeks ago? And people are just already kind of on to the next thing. And the reason why I brought Trippy Red up, this was before I even saw the projections for Trippy Red sales, which is like, what, 20-something K? I don't know if it's 28K. It's 20-something K. This is a love letter to you, Five. This is his staple series that's supposed to be selling the most, as opposed to if it was had a different title or a different, yeah, a different album title. And it's not doing hot. So what's going on within hip hop? I don't think that's the complete answer. I'm going to give a bunch of different takes that I have. Another tweet that I sent out was in response to ESTG walking out on No Jumper while he was on the Bootleg Kev podcast. Pretty much Bootleg I heard Kev about that just too. asked him about his history as a football player and ESTG didn't seem to like that and kind of pressed forward asking some questions of where did you find that information what video did you watch and then bootleg kept trying to change the topic and estg just walked out now keep in mind i don't have the context of how the interview is going before this but bootleg kept did say estg was two hours late regardless i quote tweeted this and i said another example of why hip-hop is dying but did did uh g not wanted to be known that he was a football player Acting, quote, too cool, when I've never heard a single person say, I can't wait for the next ESTG interview. This is, I have a lot of stuff to cover. So let's first knock out the hip hop is dead thing or hip hop is dying. I feel like people don't care. And this is also a good thing, which is why I want you guys to kind of watch this. Because I'm not saying this as a bad thing entirely. Although it is kind of a bit heartbreaking to see. What community is Honestly, there? to me, everything comes full circle. Everything always comes full circle. I've seen so much stuff come full circle, bro. I'm... Like, I could see stuff like this coming. What hub is there? What groups are there right now that are popping, buzzing? Ice Spice is the hottest and most popular thing to come out and the freshest thing to come out in the past year. And her music is lackluster. She's not great. And that just goes to show you that's the best we've had in a year. But clearly, it's not looking too... <laughs> Ice Spice and Sexy Red. That's what we've got. We can't even name any male rappers. Well, BLP Kosher is one. He's hard. But he's not even really mainstream like Sexy Red and Ice Spice are. He's not getting the looks that they're getting yet. So two female rappers are number one right now, or the hottest that have come out in the past year. And they're both who they are, not great. And it doesn't mean that hip-hop is dead just because of that, but it's the level of excitement. Think about it. When was the last time you got excited for an album? And I'm not judging by numbers at all. People Shit, are with me recently, man, Quavo, Rocket Power. I didn't get excited for it. Actually, I wasn't really excited for it albums lately i just like you know i just see the hype of them take a listen or you know see any reason to listen to an album whether it's hype or you know a situation or maybe even possibly a rollout but no i'll see that album off that reason and you know just let it play you feel me and yeah so far so far bro utopia was good to me Quavo's Rocket Power, you know what I'm saying? RP Takeoff, shout out to, you know what I'm saying? A person on one of the best groups ever. Um, that album was amazing. Surprisingly, by Quavo. Uh, the Uzi, like, pff, hey, bro. It, I was surprised to like that, too, you know what I'm saying? Um... Yeah, I mean, like, 
Yeah, from Lil Uzi on right now, bro. Like, everything is just, like, Jordan in the fourth quarter right now. It didn't start off good, but damn, bro. It's ending off, like, quite great. You feel me? People are saying, oh, there hasn't been a number one song yet from a hip-hop artist. To me, or a hip-hop personally, song. so far. I don't necessarily make this video out of a judgment of analytics, which is somewhat out of the norm, considering I like to use numbers a lot, and I do think they tell the story. But for this, it's more of a, a vibes thing <coughs> right? or like a feels thing, and I want to get a gauge of what everyone else is feeling, and then we can extrapolate on the state of hip-hop. It's either I'm not paying attention as much or people don't care as much and i'm more inclined to think it's the latter because trippy red's album what was the last album you thought yo i have to and see why i think like utopia and rocket power were so good um but uzi i i didn't really get through all like most of his album but i did listen to enough songs where it's like yo like this shit is fire you know what i'm saying but going back to utopia and rocket power like why I thought those albums were really good were because like I feel I felt the soul that they put into it again. Travis Scott again, because um, After World was like more of like you know what I'm saying like that was more of an active hype ting you know and, like it was just the energy was just hype you know with the Utopia it felt like his soul was like he was paying homage to Kanye West you know it was like bro I was, I feel like he really I for once heard the soul from Travis Scott being put into his music and, you know, like the way he made the uh uh the songs is is it's it's really solidifying his place in the hip hop game, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, just for me personally putting his soul back into the music, like, you know, you can like you you can feel you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 where he's at, where he came from, paying homage. Like, it's, I'm just like, damn, I was not expecting this. For it to be like this. Quavo, too, obviously, because, like, it, it, he, he called it Rocket Power. You know, paying homage to uh, his nephew, uh, Takeoff. And, oh, my God, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this album made made me almost weld up tears in my eyes, bro. The freaking intro, man, like Quavo, man, come on, man. <sighs> so, and also going with Lil Uzi too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've heard a couple songs, like, damn, and I think one song that I was like, sheesh, nah, like, yo. He, yo, what? You feel me? So, yeah, I mean, again, like, Jordan in the fourth quarter with this year, bro. It's like, yo, this this is coming off crazy now. You feel me? Half, uh, 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 half, what is it? Half time crazy right now. You feel me? I was about to say half quarter, kind of like what I half quarter, no, half time crazy. Utopia. That lasted two weeks, and it was a great album. Going like, half court crazy. Sucks, but, like, yo, come on. That was one of the biggest things to happen this year. What other album is huge that will last for a while? It doesn't feel like hip-hop is a thing. It just feels fractured. So a bunch of different artists all doing their own thing. For example, like ESTG. This guy's walking out of an interview. This guy's lost the plot. Who cares about ESTG? I mean, the guy makes some good music. But if I turn on ESTG's new album, when he wants to talk about music, right? This is the argument that people say, you know, these artists, they come on there to talk about music. People don't care to hear you talk about the music for the most part. If they wanted to hear you talk about the music, they'd listen to the music. They want to hear you. Who are you as a person? Who are you as a character? What are your experiences like? What has your life been like? They want to know what's behind the music, not the music itself. How is someone going to talk to you in app for an hour? How is Blue Lake Kev going to talk to ESTG for an hour about his music? So you say, oh, hey, on track three, that sounds exactly like track two, which sounds exactly like track one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight on your last project, which sounds the same thing as the project before that. Yeah, that one, when you talk about uh, selling Fent, which you did on the past three projects as well in every single song, is that something that you actually did? And now he's going to say, oh, hey, uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. 
uh, are you police? So you can't even ask questions about the lyrics of the music because the lyrical content of the music is him talking about crimes in this particular case. So you can't talk about the lyrics. What are you going to say? Hey, man, where'd you get your beats? Was that honorable C note on that beat? Yeah, 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 that was cool. How, how'd you put that together? I'm not watching that. Are you watching Yeah, that? it's like, you know, they're like, they're, like, they don't even be like, saying much about it. They just be like, yeah. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> That interview is going to get 10,000 views. No no one cares to watch that. So he's trying to make things interesting. And he's not even putting ESTG in a spot where he's putting out information that's, number one, not real, or number two, embarrassing. People think it's cool that he used to play football. But he's just acting like this too cool for school <laughs> mentality when you can do that if you have hits. ESTG it's like if you're a football player and you're acting like you're too cool to be a football player? Like. What's going on with society right now? Too hit. cool. What is the last ESTG hit you heard? All his music sounds the same. Now, it is pretty For a good. football player, it's bro. It's pretty good all the time. It's not hit worthy. He sounds just like... Like, damn, them five, blue faces seven, uh, to football too. He admitted that. Cluster. If you listen to any of their music, you know exactly what you're getting when you press play. You're I used to play football. In the slightest. You're not pleasantly surprised. You're also not negatively surprised. You know what you're going to get. It's consistent. It's like McDonald's. But McDonald's is great, depending on the location. So I guess it's not as consistent. Regardless, you guys get my point. ESTG is consistent. He's a boring character. His music is more interesting than him, which is a better place to be than a Coil Array, for instance, who does have a smash hit, a bigger hit than ESTG has ever had. And we're not going to knock Coil Array in this video. Yeah, so it's just this guy who's mid in popularity as an artist. Like if someone says, yo, who are the top 25 artists in hip hop right now? Nobody's naming ESTG, not a single person. Yet he acts like this. And this could be partially to blame for his management, etc. He could just not show up. He has the option to do that. But I think walking out is disrespectful. Keep in mind, I didn't have the full context of everything, but he could just say, hey man, you know, I'm not interested in this. The guy's acting too cool. Like, yo, you're not Travis Scott, okay? So why would hip hop dying be a good thing? Like I said, to quickly recap, I think it's dying because nobody cares about anything anymore. There's no community. Like for example, in the past several years, there was that next gen SoundCloud, new generation SoundCloud that people focused on. I didn't care about them too much, but they had a liveliness to them. Now a lot of those guys are, ugh, their, their careers are dead. A lot of those 16 to 19 year olds that blew up and everyone thought they were hot in 2021, 2022, those guys are 2021 probably those guys are nowhere to be found this year some guys even you wouldn't expect it to be bro a couple have blown up since then it's kind of like everyone's in their own faction like opium crew is the only one that's an actual maybe collective that's new that people care about but that's not hip-hop hip-hop is like yo we've got a bunch of these mainstream guys and this circles back to the second point which is why it's good and i'll get into why it's good in a moment people are saying hey there's plenty of great artists out there you just need to find them okay that doesn't mean hip-hop isn't dead if there's good music. If something is dead, that means the popularity, the interest, and the level of commitment of the fans to the genre is high. Good music can be a component of those three criteria being met, but it can exist without those three criteria. So there can be a thousand great artists, but if people are listening to them and they're all, you know, in their own little world, then that doesn't make hip-hop as a whole big. So why is this a good thing? This is a good thing because now there's none of that pressure to listen to what's popular because nothing is really popular. Or you're not missing out on something if it's popular. Like, you're not embarrassed if you didn't listen to the new Sexy Red song. But, like, a couple of years ago, right? Or even just a year or two ago, there's this pressure that we all have as hip hop listeners, which is you know, you've got to keep up. So, you got to keep up. Did you listen to this new album? Did you listen to this new album? This album by, I don't know, let's say Drake just dropped, Kanye just dropped. You want to listen to these guys, which takes away from the time you have to explore artists that are relatively undiscovered. And that's a good thing, because that keeps hip-hop popping when everyone feels like, yo, these are the mandatory listens. We got to listen to them, or we're not really following hip-hop. And for that to be a thing, there has to be a mainstream, because there has to be enough of a collective that everyone says, yo, these are the guys and girls that you have to check out their stuff, and we can talk about it and other people will chime in because there's enough people paying attention to it. If it's just small artists and there's 200, let's just say there's 300 small artists. Yeah, not only like that, but what I feel and what I like low-key is that it gives off a competitive vibe. It makes you want to strive for something. You know what I'm saying? That's something being like, I, I guess it could be mainstream or something like mainstream or 
well, I say like mainstream, like uh, achieving a status as like Russ as a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Like he's independent, went independent for a, for a minute, done did it right, popping like he mainstream. So I don't know what kind of route that is, but something like that. So it's like it makes you strive for that. You know what I'm saying? See if you're really serious about your craft and, you know, how far you want to take it, where you're comfortable at. You know what I'm saying? That's what I sort of like about it, you know? I don't know what That are pretty good. And everyone is listening to a different artist or the majority of people. It's fractured. It's split. And there's no greater discussions that everyone can come to as a whole. But this is liberating because now you're like, hey, I can just check some random artist stuff out. And if I like them, I'll just listen to them because I don't have to pay attention to mainstream hip hop because it's pretty much dead right now. And this allows for a pocket for many, many up and coming rappers to build out their own wave. And that doesn't mean they're going to become mainstream, but the attention has kind of been cracked now or it's been what's the word for it? It's been fractured disintegrated like split into many pieces split into many pieces equally and i know i'm missing the word for that some someone with some good vocab drop it down and like, it's at the tip of my tongue i'm not gonna hold you guys any longer so there's so much attention that's been split now that can allow for a lot of other artists to gain some popularity so i think that's one positive thing is that people will while hip-hop is dead people will listen to a bunch of artists that they just authentically want to listen to with no pressure with no expectation of their numbers because we don't really care about numbers as much anymore the genre that's also something that is important i don't really care about album sales like that like for example like gunna and young thug that was like a cool thing because it was a little rivalry and travis scott because that was a very big drop after astroworld but for the majority of artists like for mid-tier artists yeah people have been mentioning it mentioning it like right after astroworld like utopia utopia i'm like is that his next album I'm like how are these people know the name of his next album and he just dropped an album already really care about their numbers like coil array we kind of have a history of looking at her numbers and her level of popularity but ddg like do i care what ddg sells if he sells 4k okay if he sells 20k really good for him i don't even know if he dropped his album but like those middle tier artists we don't really care like we used to a year ago or pay attention to it as much and don't you see it's kind of underreported too for example trippy red sales i, I swear know. i know i like that one dg song hard on myself is it hard on myself it was some song where he was like very revealing of uh you know what i'm saying like revealing his feelings and all that you know what i'm saying like i like that's the first ddg song i actually generally f with bro pay attention to it as much. I think it's hard on myself. Kind of under a my first so lyrical song. Red sales. I know them because I saw them on my feed, but that was the first thing I saw about his album. And that's something that's missing too, is a lot of these discussions that used to happen around Distorted. an album. And I don't know if it's the lack of marketing dollars spent or whatever the case may be, but Lil Durk, for instance, he dropped that Almost Healed album. Does it feel like Lil Durk dropped this year? It doesn't feel like that to me. It feels like, oh, wait, Lil Durk dropped? So a lot of things Dirk just dropped? don't feel right. It's ironic. Cause it's just that album was uh, finally healed. Hip -hop, or but something. it just doesn't feel the same. Almost and healed. I know I'm not the only one experiencing this, but this finally can healed be sounds great harder. because it's a new beginning and a lot of other artists can get their own chance to not shine, but have their own yeah, level of healed. popularity with their own set fan base. And it kind of democratizes everything as opposed to everything being centralized as it once was. And labels were talking about this. I don't know if it was with Ice Spice, but I saw this one headline where they said, hey, labels don't even know how to predict or make an artist pop anymore. It's kind of all just luck and they just are catching up to other artists after they already blow up. And isn't that what everyone's always wanted? Some people are saying, oh no, they have to change it up and they have to, you know, get some good a and r and find some good music instead of focusing on analytics. Well, I thought you guys didn't want labels to have as much power on who you're listening to. So isn't this a good thing if they can't predict the success? Wouldn't you rather just have the artist blow up first and then you can find the artists that you like, know that they weren't pushed on you by a label, and then once they're popular, have a, they have a sign to a label and have the label assist them in getting to the next level of popularity. That's pretty much the ideal, but yet everyone is kind of blaming labels for this. I don't think there's any fault of hip hop quote dying. Yeah, they're that. saying that like label executives were having a hard time finding the, uh, the next hip hop app. Like they're like struggling and straining to find the next one, bro. <laughs> it's not that easy no more, is it? should be attributed to record labels because they've been operating with the same interests since the beginning. 
yet things were hot at one point, and now things aren't as hot. But there's got to be something there. Also, the lack of tours selling for a lot of these artists. Overall, I think this is a great thing. They're really overlooking the artistry, you know what I'm saying? See, just like, oh, uh, uh, is it popping on TikTok? You see, you see, that's why you're in that state of mind right now. That's why you're struggling and straining because you're looking at freaking a minute to five minute TikToks for the next hottest song. Hope to see a lot more new artists come into the game. And yeah, probably going to check way, it's out like they're getting ADHD. a couple of this week. Just scroll through see what I'm using <laughs> of like up. finding and artists or something that's my topic to them because I have zero obligation or feel any obligation that I need to check anything out in the past month other than Travis Scott of course I decided to check that one out and there is another album I'll probably talk about the BLP kosher album in another video but yeah let me know what y'all think in the comments like subscribe and hit the notification bell if you right, yeah so that was hell of a scene with why hip-hop is dead right now um yeah i thought he was gonna talk about well i just talked about in the beginning um i mean but in a way it sort of rolls into that what of what i said in the beginning because of what's going on what he said within the video you know what i'm saying um it is what it is y'all let me know your thoughts about down in the comment section down below y'all know it's boomer and you're watching Bali Star. Make sure to leave a like to support the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new so we can join up with the All Star gang up in this thing. Hey man, speaking of like checking out like artists that you might like now instead of just listening to what's mainstream, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I don't know what to do. I just want you